Hi, welcome to the Lab for Remix Knowledge. This is an instructional guide to show you how to create a description of it. What are descriptions of it and what are they used for? Descriptions of it point at empty semantic space and they charge it with potential meaning. We use them to suggest new realities and finally they create the it that they describe. Let's take a look at what that means and how you can create some descriptions. But first, always remember that in remixing knowledge you want to focus on your three eyes: intent, intuition, and improvisation. That is, channel your remixing into an intent to create something meaningful. Trust your intuition and improvise. Don't rationalize. So first, you need a source text. Again, this is an article on mapping the mind from Seed Magazine. You take your source text and what you're going to do is rapidly scan the page or flip through the pages and look for words that emerge that pop out at you and flow them into a statement. And of course, you're going to start with it. Like so. It tunes the brain to an unverified map. Again, just kind of rapidly trying to find words that pop out and flowing them into that sentence. You'll notice that we can change the formation of words to make it make sense. So we changed tuner to tunes to make it a verb. We inserted to an to make it a complete sentence. Let's try again. It connects approaching values. Nice short little statement there. One more time. It is an amplification of complex transformations. You'll see that we inserted a bunch of words there, is, an, and of, in order to guide this towards actually being a statement. So it's not just mashing words together and connecting them randomly. It's flowing them into a sentence, and so you can change the words and insert any words you need to that pop into your mind to make it make sense. After we've done all these remixes, we have all of these wonderful and evocative words. It tunes the brain to an unverified map. It connects approaching values. It is an amplification of complex transformations. Now, the reason that these descriptions of it are powerful is that they point at an empty semantic space, a space that's ready for meaning. So what that means is that if I say it tunes the brain to an unverified map, you begin to flow meaning into that space through the statement. You create the reality. You begin to create what it is in your mind that could tune the brain to an unverified map. And the same goes for all these statements. It connects approaching values, you see that, and meaning starts to emerge. It is an amplification of complex transformations. You say that, you start to wonder, you start to create what that it is. Now, this is powerful for each individual statement, but if we point all of those spaces, all of those statements to the same empty space, then maybe something can start to emerge that has all of those properties. Again, we're creating a description and using it to create the reality. While you're in the lab, what you'll be doing is taking a source text and then remixing, as we showed above, into descriptions of it. Do them kind of quickly, put them on a post-it note, and then you'll put them on the wall so the researchers can gather around and get to work. So now it's your turn.